Hi, my name is Przemek Kojecki and today we're going to overview yet another course on Coursera, uh, this time again about data science, but this is unique uh, comparing to applied data science uh, from University of Michigan or uh, IBM data science because this course is actually in R, not in Python, so it's a little bit different and uh, first of all I want to discuss why you would at all go into R where, when there is a Python and probably the only answer is that uh, you're working in a workplace where R is uh, required and it's mostly used in businesses like finance or in statistical departments uh, so far because usually you can do much more with Python. Python is much much better developed right now so if you're starting from scratch if you don't know where to go definitely go to Python. Uh, it's uh, much more robust, you can do much more, especially if you're going into machine learning. Uh, but if you're more coming more from the academia or um, statistics, then R is also a good option, I guess. Uh, so this course is one of the most popular uh, on Coursera at all, and the most popular when it comes to learning R. And it starts with basics. The course is uh, from John Hopkins University, you have 10 courses in this specialization in total and uh, those courses basically take you from the very start uh, on uh, beginnings on R and then develop that into how to manipulate da data, clean data, visualize data, build simple projects uh, using R. So basically everything you would learn in applied data science from University of Michigan or IBM data science course but using R here. So let's have a look at all the courses there are 10 courses uh, basically the first course is uh, explanation of why you would need what would you would need as a data scientist so basically uh, things like git or r studio to have the whole framework for doing data science then the second course is r programming so basically basics with uh, r different packages what you can do Number three is getting and cleaning data, so everything about how to load data, clean that data and use it. Uh, and then course number four is starting into explorations of data analysis and basically uh, visualizing data sets that you have, uh, trying to understand what's going on, plotting maybe something. Uh, course number five is reproducible research and it's about concepts and tools behind reporting modern data analysis in a reproducible manner, so that's, that's always important. Uh, number six is more on the statistic side, it's statistical inference and what, you can, what kind of conclusions you can draw looking at the data. Uh, so general theory of probability is coming here. Uh, number seven, regression models, so uh, models which allows you to predict something uh, or infer some values. Uh, this is here. Number eight is practical machine learning. Uh, so how to use uh, R in order to build things like regressions, classification trees, naive bias and random forests. So basic machine learning methods. Uh, number nine is developing data products. So packing all that knowledge into something which you can show to others, especially uh, you'll be working with Shiny. So this is the package in R to uh, make beautiful uh, dashboards. Uh, so that's also always cool. And number 10, the last course is a project, which you do using the knowledge that you had gained so far. So all in all, this is really contained specialization when it comes to learning R. Uh, as I said, this is the most popular when it comes to, to R in total and if you're sure and certain about going to R direction, uh, this is the course for you. If not, if you prefer to go with Python, because Python is most popular uh, language right now when it comes to data science, then consider either applied data science from, uh, uh, from University of Michigan or go with IBM data science. Also, both of these courses are on Coursera right now. Uh, yeah, so all in all, uh, this there are 10 courses here in the specialization. Of course, you can take each individual course individually. You don't have to do the whole specialization. And also, you can uh, take them for free if you want, if you want to audit them. Uh, and if you want to audit them, you just click on one of the courses, go to the page, 
click enroll and then you will see the, the window to, to actually audit the course without completing it, which means that you won't get a certificate but you will be able to learn and watch all the video materials that are contained in this course. Uh, and lastly, probably I should mention that each of these courses lasts for weeks. So all in all, in total, you have 40 weeks, basically, if you were to do them one by one. Uh, but of course, you can do them much quicker uh, if you want. So basically, this is like a one year of learning uh, in this course uh, when it comes to art. So this is what I wanted to mention. As I said, this is one, the, the most popular course in R right now. Uh, but you should probably consider if you're going into data science, you should consider whether you want to uh, go into R and Python. And as I said, I'm a huge proponent of Python and definitely unless you have very good reasons to go into R, choose Python because Python is the language, uh, the, the default language for uh, doing also more complicated stuff. And if you were to go into machine learning, deep learning, then definitely R is not enough and uh, actually nobody doing anything in uh, more advanced in R uh, when it comes to actually training like neural networks and stuff like that. Uh, so this is just the, just to mention that at the end. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a like and see you in the next episode.